So usually, having a reputation for being extremely good at a video game when it comes to streaming or esports, it's a good thing. We see it all the time, right? Popular pub stars making the jump to pros and building a career off of that reputation. But things don't always work out that way. You could be extremely good at a game, but despite all of that, the only thing people wanna do is ruin your entire career. That's exactly what's happening with a streamer called Arga. So before we jump into this one, by subscribing to the channel, liking the video, and leaving a comment, you really help us understand what you wanna see more of. So keep it coming. And also, if you have a news tip for us, well, we have a tips email, so send them over there. Now, back to the story. So this is Arga. He's an insanely talented 4600 SR Hanzo main who frequently ranks in the top 500 and GM for competitive solo queue in Overwatch. Enemy submit left side, maybe? Oh! And he constantly deals with random people trying to ruin his game on purpose. They int him, they try to get him kicked, they report him, they do everything they can to derank this guy into oblivion. Now obviously inting or intentionally throwing is where your teammates purposely try to lose the game just so you specifically can't win. No, 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 can you, can you report the slick boy for me? Oh, yeah, 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 sure. I don't like him. Yeah, yeah, thanks dude. This is Arj and he's Bye. big poo poo. Now in the case of Arga, this isn't just a few people inting and throwing his game. This is an organized attack on him specifically. Like at this point, there's entire Discord servers where people pay other players to intentionally derank and fuck with Arga. And by the way, he's one of many players and streamers who appear on these weird inting hit lists. I've gotten pictures from, uh, from five different discords like people leaking the leaking the stuff and like like people come up to me almost daily in the dms to tell me that oh these people were 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 like talking about how they threw all your games today so why the hell do people hate this dude so much well, to explain that, we just have to rewind a little bit. So after dealing with long bouts of depression and burnout that caused Arga to drop out of university, he found that he had a lot of time on his hands. I felt like I was a huge failure and like there's nothing more left for me. And the reason why I never started streaming was because I felt like people would just laugh at me and think I'm stupid, just like most people in real life. So I was like, well, since I am a failure and stupid and all that stuff, maybe I should just stream and let everyone laugh at me. And while he jumped into streaming with this, like, it couldn't get any worse mentality, he was surprised to find that people were actually really positive when he started streaming. Now the trouble started with the character that he mains, Hanzo, and escalated after he developed a reputation for being an asshole when dealing with other aggressive players. People hated to play with Hanzo and people hated to play against Hanzo. If anyone would like flame at me or blame me for the loss and stuff when obviously it was not my fault, like it, they were just blaming me since I was playing the worst hero. So I would immediately just retaliate and like, I took it uh, I took it very personally. Despite being extremely good with Hanzo, teammates and opponents made fun of him for using a character that was considered a bit of a meme. And instead of ignoring the stupid comments, Arga would consistently fight back. Once people realized that, they continued flaming him, partly because it was funny to watch him flip out, but also because they just didn't like him. It's kind of like a cycle. Like, let's say there's a person in my, in my match, and then I piss him off. And like he might say that I'm egoistic, so then I will act even more egoistic just to piss him off. And then he's gonna go to his friends with this story and maybe pad the story a bit, make it even worse. When these people get into my team that he told me about, then they will immediately be hostile towards me and then I will be hostile back. And it's kind of like a cycle that kept expanding. People did everything they could to fuck with him. Jumping off the map, reporting him at the beginning of games, even going so far as trying to get his account suspended. <coughs> and this wasn't a once in a while thing. According to Arga, this was a 16 hour a day, every day thing. And those Discord servers I mentioned, they are full of conversations with people talking about the best ways to fuck with him. 
But there's a reason why Argo wouldn't just ignore the abuse and move on. See, throughout his life, Argo was bullied pretty severely, and he openly talks about this. So he decided that when he started streaming and playing Overwatch, he wasn't gonna take that shit anymore. I, I was bullied my whole life at school, and I never stood up for myself. And when I started streaming, I kind of like promised myself that I would never let anyone make me feel like powerless and humiliated and trash like everyone had always done. So I was like, I'm just gonna immediately retaliate. Now, this type of back and forth shit talking created a never ending cycle that escalated way out of control. Now, Arga found out about these communities gunning for him after someone closely associated with one of them told him about it. Now, if you're thinking, God damn, this is ridiculous. I mean, it is. But a lot of people, Arga included, think that this is a systemic problem throughout Overwatch. As far as Arga goes, he's had nervous breakdowns because of all of this toxic attention. And it's only after the last little while that he's managed to shift his mindset and become a little more positive on stream. I feel like the fact that people can now see that it's, it's more like a positive thing because it causes people to talk about me and focus more on me when they, they focus on me. So. It, this might be the point where I slowly start getting rid of all these people. And while he says he's gotten better at controlling his emotions, Argus still apt to rip someone a new one if he thinks they deserve it. I only have so many avoid slots. Can somebody do it with me? Dude, are you okay? Dude, it's it's okay. his first time in top 500. Like, he suddenly got 300 extra I saw, so he's kind of like... I'm in top 500 now, guys, and you guys fucking suck, bro. I'm gonna drop back out of top 500 right now, brother. You fucking... Sorry, I had, I had to roast him. Oh my God. Okay. And when it comes to Blizzard cleaning up the rampant boosting, cheating, and bounty hunting nonsense that Arga has to deal with, he doesn't think that there's an actual solution. And when we asked Arga what he wants his Twitch channel to look like a year from now, he's really focused on making it a safe space for people who deal with depression, social anxiety, and having, well, just general issues interacting online. I've tried to mold my stream into this space for people that got bullied or that are too anxious to talk in Twitch chats. That's the kind of direction I want to take my stream. That's just 100% positive, not making fun of anyone. As far as far, far what the fuck? As far as <laughs> uh, that's uh, that's IKEA's new fucking line as, as furniture. Far as far yeah. <laughs> just my. <laughs> <laughs> Just fires bolts of fucking whatever. Anyway.